Now we will show you our French knot technique. Now this is a little bit difficult with the fleece ribbon because it doesn't slide so well. It probably would work a little easier with the grow green ribbon, but it can be done and I'll show you how. So you're going to start by lacing your fleece ribbon through your plastic needle, through the eye of the plastic needle. And this time instead of going top down, I'm going to go bottom up. So come bottom up through that corner set of holes and leave again about a three inch tail. And then you're going to take your plastic needle and right where the fleece had come up through the hole next to the fabric, you're going to wrap your fleece strip twice around the center of your plastic needle, keeping that plastic needle close to the fabric as you do this. Then you're going to push the eye of the needle through the loops that you formed around the center of the needle and push the eye up through those loops along with the fleece tail behind it and pull, it's a little tight, you're going to have to pull and kind of squeeze those loops until a knot forms close to the fabric. Pull on that and then you're going to go down through the next set of holes forming your French knot. So we can remove this plastic clip as we go and come up, bottom up through the next set of holes. And again, I'm going to take my plastic needle and right next to the fabric where my fleece ribbon has come up through that second hole, I'm going to wrap the fleece ribbon twice around the middle of my plastic needle loosely. And then I'm going to push the, the eye of the needle through those loops and pull the top through so that I'm going to form a little French knot. And then again, top down through the next hole. And we will continue doing the French knots all the way from the right to the left until we reach over to the left hand corner. Okay, so I've brought it all the way across to the opposite side and you can feel and see those pretty French knots between each stitch. It makes a beautiful decorative stitch. On the back is your simple running stitch. On to our fourth stitch. Before we get there, just wanted to mention that this particular project is a 10 inch square with a decorative um, fabric that says I whip you. You can also use plain fabric um, like this pink one and I'm going to show you at the end some new tactile embellishments that we're also introducing. So if you wanted to use this for a pillow we also um, have some polyfill that you can uh, purchase to stuff it or you can use your own polyfill um, because it's 10 inches we don't have the standard insert. So if I were to make this a pillow, I would fill this now with the polyfill before proceeding with lacing my next side. To learn more about other advanced stitching techniques for our Mitzi kits, please continue to review our YouTube videos in this series. Or if you want to learn more about Mitzi kits in general, please go to www.mitzikit.org.